Archbishop Jose Gomez will take the reins of power over the largest Catholic community in the United States. Making it official, Cardinal Roger Mahoney, the Archbishop of Los Angeles, introduced his successor in the Cathedral Sanctuary. And I pointed out that this is the largest Spanish-speaking diocese in the United States. In fact, only Mexico City, Guadalajara, now Monterrey, have more uh, Mexican people than Los Angeles. We're number four now. The Pope named the 58-year-old Mexican-American in part because of his background. Well, the fact that I'm a Latino, who was born in Mexico, I think will be a, 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 an, another incentive for Latinos or Hispanics to participate, continue participating actively in the life of the Catholic Church. And Gomez is an archbishop of Opus Dei, the conservative movement favored by the Vatican. Well, I, th I think the, uh, the smart betting was on a Hispanic bishop being appointed uh, to, to be Cardinal Mahoney's successor. And uh, certainly uh, um, Archbishop Gomez's name was one of the names that was uh, always surfaced uh, there. Catholic scholar Father Thomas Rausch says this is a sign Pope Benedict XVI recognizes that the focus of American Catholicism is shifting south and west. I think it shows a real recognition of the growing Hispanic part of the church in the United States. Um, Hispanic Catholics constitute today over one third of all the Catholics in the United States. There's something about like 35 percent of all Catholics. Gomez will also have to oversee the fallout from the sex abuse scandal that arose during Mahoney's tenure. In 2007, Mahoney agreed to a record-setting $660 million settlement with more than 500 alleged victims of clergy abuse. While that was a scandal, it was certainly our opportunity as a church to rid the church of that evil. Gomez will be formally installed as cardinal next year. John Moe, the Associated Press, Los Angeles.